So, with the release of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, well, it's not released yet, it's the uh, 1st of January as of recording this. Um, but with Pokemon Legends Arceus releasing soon, it, is, it basically shows that Nintendo and Game Freak are willing to shake up the formula of Pokemon games more now than ever. So, here's just like some spin off game ideas I would like to see in the future. Uh, this is not a prediction or anything because. You know, nobody really knows what Nintendo's or Game Freak's gonna do, and this I have no ins inside information, so this is not a leak. This is just what I would like to see. You know, Pokemon and Game Freak release in the future, whether it's this year, next year, or the year after, whenever. Um, so the first one I'm gonna get into here, uh, and this is in no particular order, particular order. A villain spin-off. I would love to see a spin-off series where we get to play as different members as of members of the villain teams of the main Pokemon games. I think this would present an opportunity for unique gameplay and a chance to see another side of the villain uh, villain team uh, and uh, the members uh, and learn more about them. And I don't really I don't mean like putting us in the shoes of say Mars from uh, Team Galactica and just like thinking, you know, styles off as like a grunt uh, that just joined, uh, so, you know, again, let's just use Team Galactic as a, re as a, um, example, Team Galactic, and then we have to like, work our way up doing tests for Team Galactic and maybe like stealing Pokemon or stealing Pokeballs or whatever, and uh, basically, you know, we get, you through this we learn like the inner workings of the uh of the organizations and we could even like uh, be a part of them during the main story of the of the games they're from uh so you could hear like uh stories about oh this kid is just like this man is just like a major threat to um our organization and he's like uh, number one on the boss's hit list or whatever um, and we can and we can you know, just like uh, see what's going on around the, the time of the main games and uh, I really think this would be an interesting look at how they you know what's happening at that point in time considering it's done well and an idea I had when I thought of this is um uh, with Team Plasma um, from Generation 5, you could do, you know, uh, Pokemon Team Plasma where you're Team Plasma from Black and White, a member of Team Plasma from Black and White, but then going into Black 2 and White 2, you could uh, um, do it. Um, Pokemon Team Plasma Light and Team Plasma Dark, sort of like go referencing you know black and white light and light and dark so sort of like referencing them um but uh it and then it, the games would also be it, it wouldn't just be a um you know red and blue version difference it would be like literally two different sides of the story in the light path you would be um one of n's followers and it, uh, uh you'd see the events of black black and white 2 from his like uh organization's side of the story while in um pokemon the darkness or whatever um or dark or the uh, pokemon Pla plasma dark or whatever uh you'd be following getsus and uh, you know they're more about getsus side of the story and i re and uh, the with me being not a massive fan of Black and White 2, but I, do, I did enjoy those two games, I definitely think you could do a lot of interesting stuff with those games and, uh, um, you know, showing both sides of the uh, coin. And I really think you could do a lot of interesting stuff uh, with the two side, the two, like, split-off sections of Team Plasma at that point. Um... And, and like I said, you can also learn more about, you know, the, you could even like, um, have like, what would usually be unnamed grunts, 
in the games, you well, they're actually all the ones that are actually given a name. Um, I think, except for some of them, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've actually read the one, but I think it's, it's like you are challenged by Team X Grunt Jeb Je or whatever. Um, but I could be wrong on that. They might all just be nameless. Uh, but you could like um, give them some names and you could give them some personalities. And you could like go more into like why, you know, pe the people join the, the, these various groups and what they do in the group. I really think you could do a lot of interesting stuff around the idea of you are a uh, team, uh, uh, team Galactic Grunt or Team Rocket Grunt or Team Rocket Grunt again or a Team Flare Grunt. Um, I think you would do a lot, or maybe, and then like you'd go into like Team Skull and Team Yell, uh, and I think they you'd be able to do some interesting stuff with them, um, and yeah, uh, I think they could do some interesting stuff with that. Now, this one would be a more of a departure, but this would be a Pokemon Professor uh, game. Uh, this is building off the idea from Legends Arceus so that uh, you are uh, building a, a Pokédex and uh, you have to go out and study the wild Pokémon and observe them in their wild uh, in the wild and learn about how they live and maybe snap forward slash draw a nice pick for the decks and maybe let people write their own decks entries uh, for the Pokémon and uh, share them online to make uh, this feel like it's it's not just you're not just filling out the Pokédex you're filling out your Pokédex. Um, I feel like that if this was given a big enough budget, it to look as good as possible, it could be a sight to behold and could give you know the Pokémon in the game themselves more of a personality. Because that's something I feel like Pokémon of newer generations are sort of lacking a bit. Because, um, like. Uh, if you go back to Je uh, Gen 4, uh, we had Pokemon Battle Revolution at where all the Pokemon had like unique attack animations and getting hit animations and that gave them a bit of personality. But ever since then, we've not really had a 3D Pokemon game that does that really and it's sort of like, it, you know, removed some of the personality from the Pokemon and I really do think that um, a lot a lot of the newer Pokemon because of that like even though you could have, you could say like oh the Pokemon from Gen 4 and before still have that personality from those games you just can't really see it in the new games but you know that personality is still there but you still got the problem that all the Pokemon from Gen 5 really don't have that much personality comparatively uh, they don't have that unique those unique details like uh, when Magneton got knocked out in uh, Pokemon Colosseum, it would fall to pieces. That was cool. That was, like, cool and unique. And then they gave it a little bit of personality and all the attack animations. And, you know, I just miss that. And I really think, like, um, if you got, like, the right people, the Im imaginative people, they could make some breathtaking scenes in uh, this, like... Um, Remember when Pokemon Snap was first revealed, everyone was like, wow, this is a beautiful game. I think that, you know, given a bit bigger budget, maybe, and I think they could definitely make a Pokemon game that looks even better. Um, and I do think uh, this would be an open world style game where you, a bit like Legends RC, uh, Legends RC is mixed with Pokemon Snap, uh, but more focused around the observing the Pokemon and uh, um, and uh, you know observing the Pokemon and uh, the, in their natural habitats and their behaviors and I definitely think like this could be one of the best looking video games just of all time um, and I think it honestly could be fun just like you know look what I didn't you know, just like, you know, finding wild Pokemon and just like watching them in the wild, trying to avoid like getting noticed, like solid snake style stealth, and 
after uh, just watching them do cute and cool things. Um, like different environments would be uh, different challenges because like in the forest it would be not too difficult to hide because you've got like the trees and bushes and everything. But like in a rugged mountain you don't have like trees and bushes to hide behind, you just got like rocks. So you got to like stealth between the rocks and make sure you don't get noticed by a Tyranitar perhaps. Um, and I really think you could do a lot with this like style of stealth um, and just obs observation game kind of game and I definitely feel like this would be a major departure from the main games and I think you could do a lot with this idea. Um, number three here. Remakes, remasters, or ports of older spin-offs. I would love to see Pokemon Colosseum, Pokemon XD Yellow Darkness, Pokemon Explorers of Time, Darkness Sky, uh, or the Pokemon Ranger Trilogy, and others get port put on the Switch, whether it's a remake, remaster, or e even just a port. These are some of the best uh, Pokemon games of all time in their own right. And uh, they are... And if they sell well, who knows, maybe a sequel to continue on their stories. And I would just love to play like a remastered version of Colosseum and XTK Darkness. Or I would kill to play or play a re just a full on remake of uh, Time, Darkness and Sky. Like smushed together like uh, Pokemon uh, Red and Blue Rescue Team DX. Or, and the Re Ranger Trilogy's Trilogy was so much fun. The, the, I do fr I do think the Ranger Trilogy is the least likely here because it had a unique control, scre control scre scheme. If you've never played the Ranger Trilogy, basically you draw circles around Pokemon uh, on the bottom screen. And while that doesn't sound fun, it was a lot of fun. And I don't know how they do it. I, I don't think the top screen was used for a ton. So they could, they could probably just like get rid of the top screen and just like uh, make it so that the bottom screen and like you have to like you could like use gyro controls maybe or just use a thumbstick or tap on the screen if you're in handheld mode um but i do think that would they would be the hardest on splinter switch but i would love to play these games again on switch they would just be so much fun um and poking too Basically, I enjoyed Pokemon Tournament. I had a lot of good ideas and a lot of effort put into it, but I feel like the combat could be polished up a bit because it just felt a bit mindless, and uh, some other changes would also make the sequel practically perfect, and maybe a fighting game to compete with Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, because while Nintendo does have a fighting game in Smash Bros. Ultimate, which has ended now, so it could also feel... The new set Smash Bros doesn't fill anymore because that's I don't know how you're gonna make a sequel to Smash Bros Ultimate. Um You know um What was I saying again? Okay, yeah, um Smash Bros Ultimate is a different style fighter to Pokken uh Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Uh, so I think Pokken would be a more direct competitor to Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and they're pulling in an entirely different crowd. Well, not entirely different, but mostly different crowd than Smash Bros. Um, and I really think if they just polished up the gameplay and made it feel not as mindless, I think Pokemon Tournament could be a really good series. Um, and I really, I, I do just, I do think that just needed a bit more the combat needed a bit more time in the oven um like the combat wasn't bad but it wasn't it, like i said it was just m a bit mindless um and last but not least pokemon card game port pokemon has an official online card game app browser game thing where you can uh, Put codes in that you get from uh, uh, card cards in the booster packs to get digital booster packs, make decks, and play against people online. And I don't know why, 
but this is not on Switch. It's on, uh, like I said, it's on browser. It's on the mobile. It got more recently put, ported to mobile phones. But it's not on the Switch. And I don't know why. So I think porting it to the Switch would be a good idea. Like, come on. How have they not done this already? How has it been ported to mobile phones, but not the Switch? Like, we've not even like, heard any rumors or anything that is coming out on switch it's just dropped on phones and absolutely nothing about it coming to switch it's just like why all right it would be i don't know if it would be a perfect fit but i think it would be you know a pretty good game to have on the switch um and it, uh, if nothing else, it would probably uh, boost the sale of Pokemon cards. Like, you know, if you, like, advertise enough, and maybe um, did an event, like, if you download the app within uh, one month of it releasing, then you get a free booster pack, uh, or something, um, that has, an ex that has, like, an exclusive like card pull that you that has never been done before and will never be done again probably um and i i really do think that i don't know why it's just not but yeah these are some of the like spin offs uh, that i want to see the most uh well pokemon spin offs that i want to see the most come to switch um but tell me, what do you think? Is there any... What do you think of my picks? Is, is there any um, aspects of the Pokemon world that you think should be expanded upon with a spin-off I didn't think of in this video? Or what? I'd definitely like to hear because I do re I do think that to, uh, you could do a lot... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've been having a bit of cough recently. I really do feel like there is a lot you could do with the Pokemon world and the, the Pokemon games and spin-offs that we've got have just scratched to the surface and I would definitely, um, you know, like another one I just thought of, like maybe have a Looker spin-off, like Pokemon Looker. You get to play as Looker and, you know, he has his own story. Um, and maybe, and maybe you can make it like a, uh, Professor Layton style game, um, where you solve, like, mysteries and stuff, and that would be pretty fun. Um, like, yeah. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and, uh, uh if you like... Uh, video game content, you know, like, comment, subscribe, I stream, I try to stream every other day, but some days I just feel like not doing a stream. Uh, I usually like stream Minecraft, sometimes stream some Pokemon, sometimes stream whatever I feel like streaming. Um, but yeah, I hope you all, uh, guys all did enjoy this uh, video, and I hope to see you guys in whatever I decide to do next. Bye-bye.